Hi everyone, I'm back with another video, and I am Mr. Fossil. So let's just start with this little video. Now, you guys might be thinking this is an update video, judging by the book right here, but it's not. This is a little video that is very good, and I'll tell you what it is. But first, I would like to mention a YouTuber I like a lot. I like this guy along with Bionicosaurus. His name is Camosaurus. Now let me give you a little information about this YouTuber. This YouTuber has a lot of series on his YouTube channel. He has a series called Dinosaur on Revival which takes place 50 years after Bionicosaurus' Dinosaur on series. He also has other series like Mesozoic Bedroom, The Outskirts which is new, Dinosaur Z, and the new um, Life series, and possibly the upcoming Vanguards. He also makes movie trailers like Cenozoic and, um, let me see, these other ones. I forgot the other ones. I apologize for that. But he makes lots of series and films, like they're real good. So go over to his channel if you would like. It's on my channel list. And um, go subscribe to him if you would like. So yeah, and today's video is about one of his series, which I really like. Now, Mesozoic Bedroom has two seasons. Season 2 only has two episodes, and season 1 is full. Now, he has a new series called The Outskirts, which actually intertwines with it, like it takes place before and during season 1. And... In the outskirts, there was this one part in there with these things called the vanguards. They're like these transformer-like toys. Well, they are transformer toys. Well, they are, but in the series, they're called the vanguards. So, I made this little theory. That they were the first ever race to roam the bedroom. And maybe they got kicked out somehow by the dinosaurs. And I think days after I made this theory, a trailer came out called the vanguards. Now, after hearing this, I actually decided to make a timeline and a chain of events of the Mesozoic Bedroom Universe. Okay, guys, we're going to go and take a look at this timeline. Okay, I'll show you the timeline. So, um, this is my little timeline I have. See the title? Mesozoic Bedroom Events Timeline is supposed to be the universe timeline, but I put events. So let's go to my first part of my version of the timeline. So I first start off at the vanguards. The time that the vanguards takes place, or years before the outskirts in season 1, is unknown. That's why I put a question mark, and, an, and I put unknown time. Now, watching by the trailer and judging by the outskirts, I think the vanguards were the first ever toy brand to enter the Mesozoic Bedroom Universe house. And I think that they roamed the bedroom and pretty much the whole house, like the outskirts, Atlantia, um, the outside area, and the whole bedroom. Now, in the trailer, they actually mentioned they had slaves. Now, I've been thinking about the slaves. Who were the slaves? And I actually was thinking of season one from the Mesozoic bedroom. I was thinking about the forgotten. Now, listen to the term. The Forgotten. The Forgotten. So, these guys are a forgotten mix of dinosaur toys that were in the series. They even said they've been forgotten over time. I'm actually thinking that these guys were the slaves of the vanguards. Because since they have been forgotten for so long, maybe the replicas like Collector and Safari never knew about the vanguards. And maybe the Forgotten only did. Or... You know, Collector, Safari, Papo, and that, like, were the slaves. But that's my theory about the Forgotten. So yeah, the Vanguards, like, who knows what's coming out with this new trailer? Like, who knows? Who knows what kind of society it was like before the replicas of dinosaurs took over? Who knows? Now let's go to our next part of the timeline. So, next in timeline is the Outskirts series. Well, episode one since the whole series hasn't been released yet, so the outskirts. The outskirts takes place out in the living room, 
which is actually mentioned in season one, known as the desert. The desert is the living room and the outskirts. So that really gives us evidence of the southern theme of the outskirts. I think the series will be following that main character, the Albertosaurus. Like the kid, well he's an adult. And 20 years later he's an adult and he makes new friends. And there's a system of vanguard um, currency. And I think that the, um, the T-Rex is an enemy. And watching the trailer, like, I think there's going to be some fighting in there. Like, um, like some of the season one getting in there. Like, you know, like the fighting, like they kill all the other toys in the trailer. I'm actually thinking that. So, yeah, that's the outskirts. Next part in the timeline is the season one of the Mesozoic Bedroom series. Now, these arrows here, they actually mean they intertwine. Like Camel Source said, outskirts... Half of it, like the beginning, is before season one, while the other half is near season one. So maybe um that's all the fighting now is going on, since, since the Carnegie were good in the beginning of the outskirts. And maybe other toy brands decided to fight them. They probably heard the news from the bedroom and decided to fight them. So yeah, that's the part of the outskirts. Now let's go on to the events of season one of Mesozoic Bedroom. Mesozoic Bedroom had a lot of events in it, like the Siege of Slick City, um, Warsaw taking over the Bedroom, all those important events. Some of them were very unexpecting. Like, I was not expecting Safari to sit, to split from Carnegie and some armies um, fighting each other and then going into peace and making new forts. Like, I was expecting some stuff, but, you know, it's a very cool series. And one thing I did not expect was the elder Schleich, the Quetzalcoatlus, who planned the whole entire war from the beginning. So he got everybody killed. He planned the whole war. Like, I was expecting that. And then, at the end of Season 1, Season 2 begins 25 years later. And Warsaw has his reign. Now, Warsaw actually, um, he almost gets captured and killed by the Papo, like, you know, the Brachiosaurus and the Raptor, who are traveling to the outskirts, or, um, also known as the Bedroom or Desert, I mean, no, no, not the Bedroom, I meant the Living Room, which is the Desert, or now known as the Outskirts, so I, um, apologize for that, and they actually captured Warsaw, but they eventually got caught and were thrown into the pit so they can rot. So yeah, um, they traveled through the desert, and the outskirts was way different in season one. So who knows what happened there. So after all that, Warsaw started his reign over the bedroom and over the whole entire house. So let's go to our last part of the timeline so far. The last part of the Mesozoic bedroom timeline, well, so far, is season two of Mesozoic bedroom. 25 years past season 1. Only episode 1 and 2 are known from season 2. And a very main event that actually happens is that one of the Schleich dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus, I think his name's Carnos, I forgot his name, um, meets this young Eutyrannus Safari, and um, they go to see Barappa. And they start a rebellion against Warsaw and his propaganda to trick people about the actual history of the war. And they have this rebellion. Now this rebellion, we do not know if it continues since there are only two episodes, but I'm thinking it does continue because they do indeed access Warsaw's base and they free the rest of the Schleich and that out of his prison. But they actually actually um, had a cost that Dilophosaurus died, but they did escape, and Warsaw may have been real pissed off. Like, maybe he would actually, um, go after them, and the rebellion will continue. So, yeah, like, the rebellion will continue, and more fights might rage on. Maybe the rebellion would lead somewhere, and the bedroom will be at peace, and everyone is equal. But, who knows, only two episodes. And who knows about the next episodes would be. 
who knows what would happen. So yeah. So yeah guys, this is my Mesozoic Bedroom Universe timeline. From the newest trailer of the Vanguards to episode 2 of Mesozoic Bedroom season 2. Now this, we do not know about some events. Like We do not know all the events of the outskirts, the Vanguards, and season 2. We only got all the events of season 1. So three pieces of the timeline are unknown. Like some stuff I, c I can't fill in because some episodes we do not know about. Some stuff were never made. Some stuff are just being made. Like have just started. So we don't know what happens next in um, each series and how it leads up to another or how it connects to each other. So we don't know. But we have to see the vanguards. Maybe the vanguards will give us answers on the bedroom's origin. So I hope you enjoyed this little theory slash timeline of the Mesozoic Bedroom Universe. And Camelosaurus, I hope that you enjoyed this because you made the vanguards, the outskirts, and the rest of it. Like, your series is pretty cool. Like, I like it. So I hope you all enjoyed this timeline and theory. And um, stay tuned for more videos to come on my channel. Have a great day.